Hey guys, what is up? My name is Techno Virtual, and welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to talk about something really different, and that is how to make your Adobe Premiere Pro YouTube videos look much better and render much, much quicker. Um, so instead of going to file and export to export your video that you've created, instead you'll want to go to Adobe Media Encoder CC 2015, or whichever one is available at the time that you watch this video. It's all part of the Creative Cloud suite, so they'll all work together quite well. This works for pretty much every single Adobe program, including After Effects, which is actually pretty interesting because After Effects does not allow you to export directly to H.264 format. Um, you have to go around and convert it a couple of times, but if you drag and drop the project directly into the square over here, you'll be able to output and render it directly as .h264, which is really useful for um, producing After Effects video. So, when encoding video, you might end up with huge file sizes and you may not know why, and they may either look much better or much worse than you expected. Um, if you scroll down in the little thing over here, you'll see um, bitrate encoding, target bitrate, and maximum bitrate. So if you have no idea what bitrates you need to set, go ahead to the website down in the description below, the first link support.google.com, and click on bitrate, and you'll see a suggested bitrate uh, table for each different quality of video. So normally I produce videos in 1080p, 60fps, and I make it about 10 megabytes per second. So there's a link down to that in the description below. And uh, you can go ahead and set the target bitrate to what you would like, and then the maximum to a slightly higher amount, not too much higher, otherwise in seriously graphics intensive moments where it needs more, um, when it needs more bitrate to show everything nicely without staggering or little pixels popping up all over the place and uh, stuff like that. So you'll need to have that maximum bitrate a little bit higher, but not too much higher. Then bitrate encoding, make sure you do not use CBR or VBR, make sure you use VBR 2 pass. So you probably ask me, what's the difference between CBR and VBR? Well, CBR is set bitrate, which means that it stays at a certain value the whole video. If the video gets much more graphics intensive, it'll look much worse. And if it's pretty simple, it'll be, it'll be taking up much more memory for literally no reason. VBR one pass um, basically is different. It's variable bitrate one pass, which means that it just renders the video straight out with no um, improvements or extra compression. It just sends out the video as is. VBR 2 pass renders it twice, but the second time it goes ahead and it makes better compression um, bits and here and there in the video, and it makes it look just a lot better um, in general. I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you guys on screen now, but I'll try. Next, if you have a graphics card that allows you to change the fan speed on it, make sure that you set it all the way up to 100% while rendering a video because thermal throttling is still a thing and it can slow down the rendering process quite dramatically if it is quite intensive on your graphics card. And just set it to 100% no matter how noisy it is, the video will probably produce a lot quicker and uh, it'll be worthwhile in the long run. Next up is a little tip that you guys might not know. When you're watching um, videos and editing in Adobe Premiere Pro, you generate a lot of files, which you may or may not know, because you'll have huge temporary files that don't delete themselves, and they have literally no reason for doing that. And also you may notice this little yellow bar over here. This little yellow bar means that you have rendered these sections of the videos, these frames, and it basically has the whole video saved out. Now, because I have this rendering in full, um, which is the quality that I'm going to be exporting at. If you go here and you enable use previews, it'll use all of these preview files and add where there's bits missing and also improve on it if you use VBR2 pass. That speeds up the encoding and rendering process much, much, much more. So it'll be very, very quick to render a video. I only figured it out. Um, I only figured out about this a couple videos ago, which kind of makes me sad because I spent so much time rendering seriously long 30 minute videos and I didn't know about this. And yeah, that's pretty much what I render my videos at. I also use maximum render quality just because it looks a bit better and it compresses the video slightly more. And uh, I normally use frame blending if there is a lot of stuttering in the video. So yeah, that's pretty much all my tips for today um, on uh, rendering video files using Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, and Adobe Media Encoder CC 2015. If this helped you guys in your YouTube career, remember to drop a like and drop a comment down below saying, you know, hey, I'm a YouTuber, go check out my channel, thanks for the tip, whatever. 
And uh, remember to subscribe for some more helpful tips like this. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.